These are all about um, my people, my grandmother, uh, who was put in Magumba, and she was there a long time. Uh, she had three children also taken from her and put in there. She met my granddad, who's Noongar, while she was in there because his brother was up there and that's how they met. And he died up there. Um, so um, from there, my mother, my mother was born while she was up there and then they went down to, eventually went to Kew, uh, Wage and, and all those places uh, and did prospecting so that they could... Um, want to stay alive for food and things like that so they had to actually do prospecting so that uh, the authorities didn't take the children her own children away from her they'd already taken one of them and my mother met her when she was 74 and spent four years with her so she met her mother at 74 my mother was 74 and and her sister was 77 and they had four years together um, and she died a couple of years ago yeah so how important is it to reflect your hi like your history and your artwork? It's very important because I, I was the eldest of my, had my mother and my father was white. Um, there was um, eight of us, wow. uh, <laughs> but it was important for me um, because um, uh, you know my people uh, had a hard time, and I feel that you know it is a history that. It did happen, and um, you know I feel that it's so important to, to to you know tell our history because it's a part of our healing. That's how we can heal, and this is what it's called. It's coming home. I've been seven years working on um, on this journey. I've had um, uh, I think four or five other ex solo exhibitions on my findings um, as I've travelled around. And so this is the last one, so now I hope to put it all into book form. So I've been seven years of travelling, and as I've found things out, then I've painted about my... St so instead of putting it into written work, um, book form, um, biography, yeah, I've painted, same thing. And um, so people can take it home and enjoy it. And so history's always on the, on the walls, it's never forgotten. My grandma was um, taken away when she was 11 and a half, put into Swan Lee, and they learned how to be domestics. Um, and uh, when she had my mother, as when my mother grew up, she was learned how to be a domestic at the same, you know. And so they all um, were part of the uh, up and growing of farmers. My granddad worked on the farm, but they all learned how to. Um, uh, please the white man. That's reflected a lot into my paintings. And the idea of putting the uh, photos around the faces, it's talking about an individual person and the way that we found our family is through photos. A lot of it's through photos and people are still searching and they find their loved ones through photographs. So that's why you see a lot of in photographs, okay. yeah, they're blocked off. And what, what's over that you said it's taken you seven years? What's the process been like for yourself for inner healing? And I've read what you wrote on the um, pages that the healing rains fall yes. on our land. Tell me a little bit about that. If, if you look at the when we have the droughts and things like that, and then the first lot of rains come, and that wonderful feeling that you get the healing rains, and all the pain that's gone uh, before is, is when the rains come. All, you know, all those hurts are all uh, of the land, you know, people that are farmers. Uh, it, it gradually goes. So the healing rains are so important. Um, water is healing. And uh, so it, it can, it's healing us and we need that time to be able to talk about the past um, and for people to listen and also heal at the same time. Because if you can't tell your story, then you hold it in and then it becomes um, suppressed and that's when a lot of um, anger and uh, builds up within side people. But if we can, uh, it's reconciliation that we can talk about.